So, when you put your battery in and tighten down your battery clamp, which is this one here, give that another tighten with the, uh, the socket set in a bit. Don't forget to put this on before you connect any of the battery terminals. What you want to do is you want to first start off with the positive, which is this side, and then the negative, which is that side. Tighten up with a 10 millimeter socket or spanner. And where's the 10 millimeter? There we go. So here's a 10 mil. I shall be quicker to use the. Oh no, that's actually coming on quite nicely. There we go. And just tighten it down so it's nice and tight. And if it doesn't move like so, then that's tight enough. Anyway, so you get these done like so. And then your battery is connected. The next thing you need to do is go to the interior, start the car up and synchronise all of the windows. And we'll do that in a second. So pop the little poppers on the battery cover. If you don't have one of these for your Astra, I do recommend getting one because they keep the battery at a near a steady sort of temperature. And they're also pretty good for the winter because they help insulate the battery as well during the colder months. So one of the things we need to, my hair looks terrible, but that's part of the charm of the channel. One of the things that we need to do is either get the car ignition on but to be honest i prefer to do this with the engine running we need to synchronize the electric windows so that you get the one touch feature and you also get the feature on this convertible where they drop it's initially when you open the door and then come back up again when you close the door so we'll start off with the driver's side press it down and hold it for about five seconds release Go back up again, press and hold it for five seconds, then down, press and hold it for five seconds, and up, press and hold it for five seconds. And hopefully, you've got your one touch window back. Repeat the procedure with the other windows. So we're going to do the passenger window now, front passenger. There we are. And the rear ones. Get those sorted. And now if we open this door, see how the window drops down? That's so, when you close the door, you don't create an air buffer within the car, which will make the roof go like that. It lets a little bit of air out, and then the window goes back up again to seal the gap. The other thing that we'll do is we'll also test the roof as well. And this one has a bit of a problem with the front motor here, which I need to replace, but the rest of it is working okay. And this just allows us to make sure that the roof is working, which is something you want to do if you haven't driven the car for a while. Now all of these hinge points, it is a good idea periodically to spray those with a little lithium grease. Um, I did these a couple of years ago and I might need to do them again, but it just helps keep the roof mechanism lubricated 
and and done. And there you go. And there we go. tuck that out of the way. And there we are. And that is all you need to do when you've resynchronized the battery. You don't necessarily have to open the roof each time, but whenever you um, disconnect the battery, you do need to do the windows because they will lose their one touch setting. So and there we go. Anyway, hope you found this um, video interesting. If you have, don't forget to hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you again soon.